This is 7 Days for XYZ, a YouTube channel where we explore a new topic every week related to companies and technology. And this week is about artificial intelligence business cases, like technologies that are now possible because of like the AI boom. So today I want to talk about a company that is doing something smart and something that, you know, I think a lot of people have had some challenge with. So have you ever had something like a DSLR camera, like one of those cameras where you have a lot of balance and settings and like even if you have you know a regular cell phone today you will be having those kind of settings in your phone like you can have the automatic mode and then you can also like put in exposure aperture and, and things of that nature like how long will the lens be open whenever you take a pictures so all those kind of settings so there's a company now that that is basically making a device that you can put on top of your camera and what they have done is that they have trained this device by looking at great photos and then based on those great photos they kind of do automatic settings for the camera. Let's talk about taking the perfect photo. First, compose the shot. Check the histogram, adjust the exposure, focus on your subject. Compute the hyperfocal distance to keep everything sharp, enable bracketing to get more dynamic range, add a neutral density filter, update the exposure and then take the shot. We built a better way. I think these kind of technologies are very interesting because they change the way that the creatives work. So I've been playing guitar since I was, you know, 11 years old, which would be like 20 years now. And in the kind of music industry and in like, when you create new new music, you need a lot of gear. Like when I started out, you needed to buy your guitar, you needed to buy amplifiers, but you also need to buy like, in order to, to actually make music and record music, you needed to buy like tape recorders, mixer tables and, and all these kind of things. And as, as we kind of entered the 21st century and then whenever I started going to high school, I bought my first kind of digital music production setup and it, it was just this, I went in my mind from like, you know, a couple of years before you had to invest like tens of thousands or dollars or hundreds of thousands of, of Swedish crowns in order to record music and then all of a sudden it was like a small investment and you could actually make music at home with your computer. And it was this like huge enabler and it, it created a shift in how creative people could work with music. Like you used to need to have a production studio where you went and you actually rent the time. And whenever you were in the studio, you needed to like be very efficient and just like do all the music. And, and usually like before you went into the studio, you had to to... To, to make a lot of rehearsals so that whenever you were in that expensive studio you had to had to be know exactly what what you did but with the kind of digital era it became possible for anyone to just like record music at home and record in like copious amounts like uh, you could start to record the very second where you have an idea so I think whenever this new technology comes, it kind of shifts focus and it creates another space for us to, as humans, kind of live in. And what I mean by that is like, whenever these like photography settings, like the AI that is kind of making the settings perfect and take the perfect photo every single day, what does the photography profession becomes? Like when, when the quality of the picture is no longer a an issue like whenever the quality of the picture will always like imagine that scenario when the when the quality of the picture will always be perfect then you can no longer be a photographer just by making a high quality picture but you need to also put something human in in it like something unique you need to do something that other people are not doing so the quality, if the quality is like getting democratized, something else will be the thing that is unique. 
in the music industry, it used to be super hard to make high quality productions. Like 50 years ago, one of the key corner, like one of the essential parts of being in a recording studio would be to just like keep the quality of the, of the recording good. Like if you go back and listen to these like old recordings, the sound is not super high quality because it was hard to make super high quality. But then like whenever the quality of the sound became easy to make, like something else has to take its place. So what do you think is like the human part of this? Like what do you think is the human part of AI technological advancement? What is the thing that we can do that machines cannot?